Welcome to the final days. Today is February 25th, 2019. This channel relates today's events to Bible prophecy, proving that we are living in the very last days. For true believers of Christ, this is good news and cause for celebration, which I'll explain later in this video. This was a difficult video for me to make because I love animals and the 4,205 mass animal die-offs that have occurred over the past seven years breaks my heart. These frequent mass deaths never occurred until several years ago. Please click on the thumbs up so that this video will show up in searches for others in need of this information. These mass animal deaths are foretold in the Bible's book of Revelation, chapter 8. EndTimesProphecy.org has been documenting these mass animal deaths since they've been occurring in recent years. However, in late 2017, the frequency of mass animal deaths got so numerous that they could only record some and not all. The list of 65 mass deaths you are viewing occurred during the first six weeks of this year. The reason that you may not be aware of the 4,205 mass animal deaths over the past seven years is because every effort is made to keep the events of Bible prophecy from reaching the mainstream news. This mass news deception is the reason that President Trump is only allowing alternative news companies to cover the military tribunals that are happening right now in Gitmo. We only have time to look at the mass deaths marked in red. On February 18th, several hundred dead dolphins washed ashore in France. The article goes on to say that no one knows why these dolphins died, but that only a very small number of the dead dolphins actually end up on the shore. They are inferring that thousands have actually died and simply decay out in the ocean. The link to all these articles is below in the description box. Also on February 18th, amounts of fish too massive to count died in Colombia because the river got too hot. Also on February 18th was one of many, many chicken mass deaths due to the bird flu, which has killed millions and millions of birds throughout Asia just over the past few weeks. 31,000 cattle died in Colombia from drought. But on February 9th, 300,000 cattle were found dead after flooding in Queensland, Australia. This aerial drone footage is too gruesome for me to show in this video, but it's available at the link in the description box below. On January 31st, 600 dead turtles were found washed ashore in Odisha, India. Again, no one knows why these creatures are dying. This article shows us that on January 30th, over 100,000 chickens died in Montevideo, Uruguay, from hot weather. On January 24th, many herds of dead horses were found near Alice Springs in Australia due to the drought. On January 19th, many tons of fish died suddenly in central Java, Indonesia. The article goes on to say that no one really knows why. On January 15th, the Herald Tribune in Florida reported record numbers of dead turtles, dolphins, and fish from the mysterious red tide. On January 11th, uncountable tons of dead fish filled the canals in Vietnam for as far as the eye can see. The article states that no one knows why. On January 8th, a report from Vietnam states that many thousands of chickens and ducks died because of the bird flu. Once again, millions of dead fish were visible for as far as the eye could see along a river in New South Wales, Australia. A January 6th article shows that the bird flu has also hit India. 2,000 dead chickens, ducks, and birds were cleaned up off the streets. This number doesn't include the majority of the fowls that died away from the town areas. 
On January 2nd, flocks of birds in Texas suddenly dropped dead from the sky and dotted the pavement at an intersection. Again, no one knows why. Also on January 2nd, heavy roadway equipment had to be used to scoop up over a ton of dead fish along the seashore in Spain. In November, uncountable mounds of dead starfish showed up along the shores in Great Britain. That same month, thousands of tons of dead fish washed up in the Euphrates River in Iraq. Again, no one knows why these fish died. The list goes on and on and on, and is available at the link below. These mass die-offs are contributing to a world food shortage not mentioned in mainstream news, but that has been foretold by many of today's Christian prophets. We are at the doorstep of the Great Tribulation, a seven-year period of God's wrath upon the earth foretold in the Bible. Most won't survive. Before the arrival of the Great Tribulation, Christ will remove from earth those Christians who are living in holiness. When he says in Luke 21:36, Watch therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass. Jesus is promising that those who are counted worthy will escape the Great Tribulation. This is referred to by many as the Rapture. Many Christians will not be included because in order to be counted worthy, we must be living in holiness. A link below leads to an informative video on what holiness means, as taught by Jesus to Mr. John Fenn. These next few screens will tell you how to accept Christ into your life into the, in the event that you're seeking Him. Please pause the screen if you need more time to read the text. In our next video, we'll take a look at another sign of the final days, possibly some more planets. Thanks everyone for watching.